Is it too late for spring cleaning? Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. All right, so here's what's going on. We got the frame out, PP out, rear end out, Clyde out, gantry's over there. Now, we're gonna be, we're preparing for winter. I realize it's not winter yet. We're gonna get another one of these in here. We're gonna slip this one over. Got a few things to move over there and Peyton's toolbox. So, Stick around and see what it works. Stick around and see what it looks like when it's done. All right. So, yes. Yeah. You see the vacuum. I had to clean up the floor. We were getting ready for uh, the big deep freeze coming. It's hey, September. We got to be ready. Like, I'm seriously going to get the snowblower test fired here within the next two weeks. It's no joke. But now we've got a clean slate in here, sort of, kind of, minus all that stuff and all that stuff. So I'm telling you, now what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I, me, this guy, we're going to start bringing things in here and we're going to get it more organized because we need to figure out how we can get everything in here. And that means Bonnie too, hopefully. I don't know if it's gonna happen. But stick around, see what happens. Now, first thing we're gonna have to unplug this. But we need to start getting uh, creepy in here, as well as uh, painting the toolbox and that stuff. So here we go. Lock it down. Lockdown. All right, it's coming together. At the rear end, right there. Welding. Payton. Now we get the frame in here. Um, I did take the wheels off of the rear end because I mean, I don't need them now. So took them off. They'll sit there. We're hoping that. It's gonna be right, other than that one, sell that one, sell that one, maybe, whatever. Not look forward to that. All right, let's get that frame in here. Let's see what's next. All right. It's in here. If you're wondering how I moved it by myself, I grabbed right there and I used my chair right there. Just took my time. Take your time. That's all you gotta do. Foreman's gonna drive Clyde for the first time. She can't reach the pedals, remember?
Okay. Mormon drove by in. Got creepy in here. All right. I we did use the grant gantry, but didn't record it. I didn't realize that we weren't. But that's fine. All we did is what we did. We picked up the body and we just shifted it back a little bit, so it's uh, where it's supposed to be, a little less shaky, which is completely fine with me. We're on here just a little bit crooked, but not, not bad. Definitely been worse. So, I'm gonna finish putting stuff away. Cause there's some stuff that I gotta finish putting away. Cause that's how it works when you have a shop. Okay, dirty. Hey kids. All right, so I was gonna continue with the shop stuff, but as you know, the old uh, yes welder here decided they didn't want to feed properly. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna take it apart. What's the worst gonna happen it doesn't work? It's not working now. So let me grab some stuff and we'll get you in there. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna have one right here, a pin brand. Come on. All right, so I do not recommend anybody doing things that they don't recommend doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. I've got a couple problems. One, this isn't working. And number two, um, it's also not gonna be big enough Strong enough, powerful enough, whatever you want to say, enough. To mount that rear end into that frame. It's only good for 3 16 And uh, I will say that that end, those uh, links that I'm looking at, a quarter inch. Now, look, I don't want, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, so, we're gonna have to upgrade the welder anyway. So uh, worst case is that this, I can't get it to work and um, we use it for stick or just TIG, right? So there's that. And uh, that's okay. We're gonna just, whatever. We take stuff off. All right, so. Anyway, um, Peyton had her first day of high school today. Um, she said that it was uh, pretty stressful navigating the, the building. And I was like, well, yeah, that happens. Because uh, when I was a kid, we had two buildings. We had three floors in one building, two in the other. And we had tunnels. And sometimes you had a class on the third floor of the A building, then you had to be all the way on the other end of the B building on second, the second floor. Um, that happened quite a bit. So um, it's like, yep, yeah, it happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm hopefully just gonna take this front part off. And if I'm gonna take the whole thing off, I'm gonna take the whole thing off. So I'm gonna, it just screws. So stick around. So something I have heard with these Yes Welders is that there's a lot, quite a few complaints about the wire feeding on uh, more than just this one. This is the Flux 135. Um, I haven't had any problems with my Titanium 125 yet. And I'll say yet. All right, so we got that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to finish taking these out. But yeah, so basically it was just like, yeah, it's not feeding right. Can't get it to feed, won't feed. Yeah, so this is apparently a thing. Now you might be saying, hey Chad, why are you using a screwdriver when you could just use a drill? Mm -hmm. Because these screws are tiny. You can see they're so small. And I don't want to damage anything. Because let's face it, I'm digging in here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Windy. All right, so I'm gonna finish taking these off and then we're gonna show you what's going on in there. So they've made this incredibly hard to get apart. Now, problem is right here. And you can't get this plastic off of the handle. So I'm not able to 
uh, take this apart without breaking this or something because you can't there's nowhere to get anything in there to pry it up and this door I'll tell you what after the 15th time it hits you pretty irritating but yeah you can see there's nowhere to, to take it out there's no spot and now you I've got my thinnest flat tip that I've tried and it just just won't So, now I need to reverse everything, put it back together. Plus, there's some really small uh, nuts in there on some bolts. Which is great. By that, I mean terrible. Yeah. So, let's see if we can get you in here, though. Just for funzos. Can you see in here, right, about where my finger's at, there's the, the drive motor for this guy right here. Right here. It doesn't want to move. I mean, it shouldn't move right now, but it doesn't want to either, so. And it's been making these sick noises, like just, right? You've heard it. So, I don't know. It's moving freely. Maybe what I do is I just <laughs> just uh, take a minute since I'm getting frustrated. Maybe I'll just call it a day tonight right here. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can get that off of there. But the way it looks right now is that it's it's not uh, not gonna be helpful. So I'm looking at a few. I've got three or four in mind. Also, with that, now you only know, you know I only have one ten out here, but somewhere between here and here, I'm guessing probably in this general area here, I'm gonna put a two twenty. Have a two twenty put in there. Now, the one thing about that is, I cannot run this the heater and that at the same time. So if I am going to be doing welding, I'll have to warm it up in here real good first. And then, and then I'll have to uh, do my welding. And then, uh, you know. so anyway, started my search um, for a 220. I'm going to do a 220 and 110 just in case I get it, you know, because um the only thing is that that's really going to dip into the creepy budget. You know, it's going to take, you know, it's going to take the wiring harness and brake whole lines and stuff out of the mix for a little bit. Well, that that's that's you know down the line anyway. The metal work is first. We got to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hang out with my girls uh, for a little bit. Um, Peyton said she had a blast. Had a good time. It was her first day of high school. And she's got welding, and uh, she was mad that she had to take basic welding. I was like, man, come on, I teach you less than basic welding. You know how to stick things together. She's going to be learning MIG and stick welding for sure, she said. So that's pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited. That. And she gets to bring her own helmet. And she has the ability to bring her own gloves, but it sounds like they have new ones there for her, or for that, kids. And then she's gonna play, she's planning on bringing her welding apron too, so we'll have to kind of get all that stuff together for her. She's going to bring her her replacement from the red one uh, helmet. She's gonna bring it with the blue flames on it. So that'd be fun. Um, also, is she's going to be taking um, like auto maintenance, auto mechanics for women. So it's all girls in the class, so no boy able to try to make her feel. Like she doesn't know what she's doing, even though I think we all know that she has a good idea, especially when it comes to Clyde. Um, also, she told me that she is able to bring a car to work on if it so uh, works out. It's getting stuffy in here. A little warm today. So, so that's pretty cool that she could bring a, um, a car. She said she wanted to bring Clyde. I'll tell you this. 
I don't think that's going to pass tech if they look at it too close. It said it's got to be street legal. Now, Clyde is street legal, but I don't want to go dapper. So we'll probably ring Bonnie. Um, hope you enjoyed my epic fail on that. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying, but not. It's just, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more involved than, than just doing what we had going on here. Um, anyway, so in the meantime, we'll be just using the titanium because we got a feed problem. But anyway, um, that's not yapping. I've probably been yapping for quite a while. So hit the thing and boom, ding, 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 and then do the, and keep on wrenching.